And now, your first alert weather. We're looking at nice, quiet conditions throughout the region with uh, peaceful winds even. Those winds have backed down overnight, so we're looking at a very calm day ahead, especially in comparison to what we dealt with yesterday, where our breeze is starting out at just 5 miles per hour, where our temperatures are pretty cold this morning. Uh, there is a little bit of a wind chill factor. feels more like 20 degrees into Rexburg. Our wind chill factor is into the teens, and we've even seen a sub-zero wind chill factor into Jackson. But it comes because our skies are so clear, and uh, those clear skies are also going to allow us to warm up a little bit better by this afternoon with all the sunshine we'll be receiving. So uh, we'll take it if, it if it means that kind of a trade-off. Here's a look at your Viper radar, which is very clear at this point. We saw a lot of storm activity throughout the day into the upper elevations, but even Teton Pass this morning is looking pretty clear after all the traveling that occurred on it uh, by yesterday evening. It's just going to get drier and drier throughout the course of the day today. Here's the satellite radar showing that those storms have really distanced themselves. The last lingering storms from that system uh, into Colorado right now, whereas Idaho is enjoying totally clear skies and will continue to for some time. You'll see that here on the Vipercast as we tick forward through the day today. We keep those southerly winds that are also going to help bump up our temperatures a little bit. We keep clear skies into Saturday and Sunday. We'll begin to see some clouds push down from the Canadian border. We'll even see some storms to our north, but I don't expect much impact into our area other than some overcast conditions by Sunday. You'll see that here pushing into Sunday morning with some storms pushing through Island Park and the National Park, some of the upper elevations, even the, even the uh, southern highlands there near Preston could see some storms by Sunday morning, but I expect that to be a relatively weak storm system. We're going to be looking at the pretty calm weather for the most part, and then that'll just kind of be a blip for our Sunday before we hit clearer conditions into the beginning of next week. Here's a look at your Highs for today will be hitting mid-50s this time around for McCammon and Malad. 10 degrees warmer in some cases than what we saw yesterday. Looking for 40s in DeSoto Springs and Montpelier with mid-40s. Also expected into Jackson today. Low 50s for the Upper Snake River Plain with 52 as a high for Rexburg. Into Central Idaho we'll see uh, 46 degrees as a high for Mackey. Low 50s in Ketchum but mid-50s into Salmon as well as Arco. Pocatello will also top out right around 55 degrees. We'll look for 53 as your high into Idaho Falls today with temperatures trending slowly towards 60 degrees by Monday. Nice sunny conditions for the most part all the way through the weekend. Mid-60s even scheduled by Tuesday before we hit our next chance at some thunderstorm activity into the midweek next week. Until then, things will be pretty quiet here uh, with the exception of those upper elevation storms we talked about Sunday. Into Pocatello, we'll look at 60 degrees by tomorrow with mid-60s to upper 60s by Monday and Tuesday before we pull in some wet weather next week towards Wednesday or so. Salmon will look at nice clear conditions again today with 60s by tomorrow and Sunday mid-60s pulling into the beginning of your work week. Jackson and we'll top out at 43 degrees today. We'll look at the overnight lows still dropping down into the 20s with all these clear, cold conditions for those morning hours. We'll see a slight chance for some shower activity into Jackson by Sunday, but clear up and hit mid-50s for the beginning of next work week. Dan and Caitlin.